the hero paradigm. The hero mindset favors action, roughness and brutality, an attitude of the male where deed comes before thought and where feelings are either choked or serve a well-defined purpose. Family, procreation, survival. The typical face expressions and other body language displayed in most modern television series show this more evidently than the verbal content of these productions. The male hero typically has a blown up chest, a large stiff neck and highly contracted face muscles. His language is crude, short, reductionist and aggressive, reminding more the barking of a dog than the eloquence of a soul being. His actions are cunning, not wise, just, not philanthropic, efficient, not integrated. His emotions are disconnected from his intellect and are purposeful. Emotions just for feeling good, for sharing, for being spontaneous and joyful are depreciated as childish, unmanly and superficial. In older civilizations, this was quite different and is quite different in those who still exist. For example, there was and is an intelligentsia from times immemorial that has an impact on society and on the formation of its value system. The image of the male in those older cultures is different from the image of the typical modern male. The traditional value system in cultures that are closer to nature and that have a long tradition tolerates feminine attributes in a man with much more ease. Also in terms of erotic attractiveness the image of the male is more of the homely partner type instead of the outdoor kind of guy. The prototype image of the good male is, in these cultures, the family lover who also tenderly cares for the children and the man that possesses some kind of emotional intelligence and can bond with the female also on an intuitive level. Often this image of the male in older civilizations is completed by social permissiveness regarding mistress keeping and the recognition, socially and even legally, of non-married couples. <laughs>